Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Hughes with this WBZ News Update. A retired pediatrician who practices at South Shore Medical Center in Norwell and Kingston is facing charges that he sexually assaulted two patients. The accusers are now women who say that Richard Koff abused them during exams starting when they were six or seven years old. These women didn't know each other, but they connected over Facebook after one of them posted her story asking if anyone else had had a similar experience. A judge has ordered the woman accused of hitting and killing a UMass Dartmouth student not to drive. 22-year-old Denasia Sampson was arraigned on motor vehicle homicide charges Tuesday. Prosecutors say in April, she hit Frank Patillo Jr. while he was walking on campus. After he died, the school made several safety updates to pedestrian crossings and to campus roads. And country music fans are excited for this one. Kenny Chesney and Zach Brown Band plan to go on a massive stadium tour together. And yep, they're coming to Foxborough. Also joining the Sun Goes Down tour are Megan Maroney and Uncle Cracker. The Gillette Show is set for August 23rd and the tickets go on sale next Friday, November 17th. Well, as great as this day was, get ready to bundle up because it is going to change in a big way. Let's get a check of the forecast with Eric. A yeah, big old drop moving in tonight. That northwest wind will be humming outside. We're looking at temperatures sliding all the way back into the 30s by tomorrow morning. So a much chillier start to the day. Make sure you have more of the uh, wintry type jacket ready to go. We'll be in the 40s for high temperatures. Sunny but much cooler, certainly brisk. Still some wind gusts in the 20 to 30 mile per hour range tomorrow. Just 46 in Boston after 66 this afternoon. Then late tomorrow night and into Thursday morning, the next system approaches. Now this looks to be uh, not exactly a drenching system, less than a quarter inch of rainfall, and there's likely going to be some sleep pellets in the mix here as it gets started on Thursday morning, especially in northern Massachusetts and southern New Hampshire. I'm not expecting a lot of impact from that, but just some ice pellets uh, kind of bouncing around in amongst the raindrops, and there could be a few icy spots, especially in the highest terrain. So if you're above a thousand feet in the Worcester Hills or the Berkshires, that's where there's a chance that some surfaces could be slick. When we we start the day on Thursday. Lisa? All right. Thank you, Eric. And thanks for being with us. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great night.